My name is Rosemary Hannon. As a performance studies PhD candidate working with practices research, I focus on site particular dance improvisation and multisensory artistic documentation practices. I also have a background in dance festival organizing within contact improvisation. My Mellon Public Scholar project was to work with International House Davis on the 2022 International Festival in Davis as an artist liaison. The International House in Davis works to build community through international understanding and cultural connections. A bit about the International House's background and mission. Thanks to a generous gift from Mr. and Mrs. Shunta Yamamoto of Tokyo, the International House found a home at 10 College Park in Davis in 1984. The Yamamotos wanted to create a unique space for cultural learning. So IHUS brings individuals and communities together to explore the global issues of our time and to celebrate culture through talks, workshops, seminars, lectures, and events. International House Davis puts on the International Festival Davis each year. It's a day-long celebration of cultural awareness, global appreciation, and belonging. The October 2nd, 2022 event featured 27 performing arts groups as well as international food, craft activities, artisan wares, and informational booths. The artist liaison role was framed by International House's question, how can we deepen and center the contexts, histories, and meanings of artistic expressions beyond a one-day performance festival? As an artist liaison, I joined the 2022 International Festival organizing team to work directly with artists participating in the festival. My proposal was to work with artists on video documentation that would highlight their artwork for the festival and be useful to them promoting their work. Collaborating with artists, video forms would differ as informed by each artist. I would also engage in conversations with artists about how the International Festival has served them their ideas for ongoing interactions with the International House beyond the festival, and ideas for the future of the International Festival. The project's focus on centering contexts, histories, and meanings of artistic expression led me to three different questions that were central to the project. How can the International House deepen engagement with the festival's context on Wintun Nation lands beyond the land acknowledgement at the festival? How can I work with artists on video documentation so that the project is useful for them and their other projects beyond the festival? How can I work with an international festival volunteer videography team in ways that offer meaningful experience to interested volunteers? Mentorship. I was grateful to work with Professor Tsunajani as my mentor for the project. As her student, I learned about her work with centering stories of cultural preservation in difficult times, a project of Native American studies at multiple UC campuses that is developing curriculum that foregrounds indigenous voices discussing heritage preservation and repatriation. For the Dehi Willock Homeland Project at UC Davis, Professor Tsunajani has been working with Pam Gonzalez of the Kachal Dehi Wintun Nation creating audio and video educational modules documenting oral histories. Professor Tsunajani helped me think through methods, equipment, and formats that aligned with my goals of working with and for artists during a video documentation process. I met with Professor Tsunajani to discuss methodologies, videography, equipment, and timing for the project. An important part of the methodology was to work with and for artists on their own terms, this meant that each video collaboration was unique. I introduced myself and the project in an email invitation and worked with interested artists. I met with Pam Gonzalez for conversations about the need for teaching Wintun history and current projects on Wintun lands. Her critical questions framed the research I shared with International House Davis staff. She asked, how can education in Davis help right the wrongs? Do markers, monuments, land acknowledgments, street and school renaming, and contemplative gardens make it right? Who should be responsible for truth-telling? Incorporating educational initiatives and partnerships are important to the festival's future curation and will require ongoing dialogue. 
I worked with the International House team on logistics and communications with artists in relation to festival planning, coordinated with artists and the team of UC Davis Cinema and did a digital media student volunteers. I scheduled videography sessions around artists' rehearsals, workshops, and gatherings. During videography and video editing, I collaborated with both artists and volunteers. The videography team shared edited videos and footage with the artists, some of which were published to International House's YouTube and social media accounts with artists' permission. During the festival, I worked at the artist check-in and helped with logistics. Both International House, Inter International House staff and festival artists provided feedback after the festival. Learnings, International Festival was important to the artists I spoke with. They particularly appreciated how the festival focused on cultural sharing in a way that did not center commodification. Artists had a lot of creative suggestions for future festivals. They also remembered other past events at Inter International House that were important to them and were interested in creating more concerts, workshops, and gatherings throughout the year. Going into the project as an outsider to the cultures of the people I was working with, it was important to me to work with artists in planning, editing, and determining how the videos would be useful for them in support of their work. Relationship building takes time. The artists who I had more relationship building time with expressed more benefit from the collaboration. I hope that my conversations with Pam Gonzalez around deepening connections with UC Davis Native American Studies and local educational reforms inform future International House planning and curation. Hosting lectures, workshops, or other events dedicated to the topic would fit International House's mission to explore the global issues of our time and celebrate culture. Here are some of the video collaboration projects we worked on. Naoko discussed her work with Shamisan and Koto and her relationship with International House over the years. The videography team attended a women's drumming workshop at International House to collaborate with Casa de Brazilian Folkloric Arts. We collaborated with Davis Chinese Orchestra during one of their rehearsals at International House. We also attended a Nariman percussion group rehearsal and collaborated with Nariman to edit video footage. We worked with Nakeki o Hawaii during a rehearsal in Davis Central Park. They asked us to create a montage to a musical track from one of their dances. Gratitudes. I am grateful to the Mellon Public Scholars Program, International Festival Performing Artists, International House staff, videography volunteers, and my teachers, Professor Tsunajani and Pam Gonzalez. I am grateful for how artists love and share their work. Thank you.